once we're finished with the loom, we're going to loom a piece in tapestry style. And to do that, we'll need a tapestry needle. We're going to go ahead and make one of those. I have a package of assorted wooden dowels from Walmart. It costs about four bucks. And it happens that they're the perfect size for a tapestry needle. Uh, at least they're the perfect length. The width is kind of a matter of taste. I prefer this. So I'm going to go ahead and make a tapestry needle out of this dowel. And all I'm going to need for that is a drill, one eighth inch bit, a drill block because I'm definitely not sure handed enough to drill through this correctly. And luckily this accepts a groove, fits in perfectly. And I'm going to leave about a quarter of an inch sticking out. A little sandpaper. Okay, now we need to have a little point on our tapestry needle. Uh, I could take this sanding block and yeah, maybe 20 minutes get it kind of nice and pointy the way I want it. But instead, okay. we really don't want it that sharp, so I'm going to sand a little bit of that point off. Smooth it out, and then I'm going to elongate it just a bit. Camper on the end, and that happens. Lesson learned. Luckily, I got a bunch of these. Okay. I want the hole to be a little elongated, so I'm going to tap this in just a bit. Make sure the line is still lined up. And hit it again. And there we have a rough figure eight. Now we take our sandpaper and we're also going to flatten this down, which will make it much easier to thread a piece of yarn through. Hit 
Focus in the middle. There we go. Ah. Beautiful. Sand that just a little more. I'll put a little camper on the end here. Sorry, chamfer. Now, the other end of the tapestry needle obviously needs a point. I believe it would take me about 30 minutes to sand a nice point into it. So instead, I'll use this. Okay. They're just not making school supplies like they used to. So, back to the sandpaper. And there we have one DIY tapestry needle. Mm.